you know, I'm comfortable with him. Uh, he's a good player. I've been saying for a while, you know, we've been building our depth for so many years, you know, we're pretty deep and, you know, they're going to put us the test on that now. Um, you know, but Mike's a Mike's starter caliber, you know, Max starter caliber, you know, uh, a lot of our depth guys, you know, just our other teams and other places in the league. So, um, you know, we're comfortable with Mike going on this week. The biggest difference between him and Jamal, would you say? It's tough to say. It's probably just experience. Um, it's hard to replace experience, but uh, there's certain situations you don't have a choice in it. And it's one of them. Todd, some of the guys were saying to us, couldn't believe how fast Michael was on Sunday. I mean, what, yeah. What, did you? Yeah, he did you get me a couple times? What, what did you? What did you see in terms of his speed? Um, you know, just his ability to make things happen. Um, you know, I know there was one play where I got beat inside, and it was a three-step drop. And next thing I know, you know, Mike's 15 yards downfield on the left side, and you know that's just who knows if another quarterback would have been able to turn that into 15 yards plus. But you know, that's just one of the things personally that I noticed. You know, Mike was like, you got to step back. Given the unsettled nature of your O line now, you have to replace Jamal. Is blocking for Michael a lot easier? Um, I wouldn't say that. You know, there's certain things you have to be aware of more. Um, you know, where you feel your defender pressing on you. You know, you'll be able to get a sense of where Mike is behind you. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna approach the game the same. No matter who you plug in at quarterback behind us, we're gonna try to you know stick to our, our, our fundamentals and our technique and assignment and it should all work out the same. But in, but in some ways because of his elusiveness, he has We're the not ability. planning on that. Oh, though. I know, but I'm yeah. saying because of his elusiveness, he does have the ability to make breakdowns and a potential bad play look pretty good. Yeah, um, I mean, he definitely has that ability. Everybody's seen that in Mike since he played back in Atlanta, you know, um, or even in college. Um, you know, a lot of people might have thought that he had lost that, that the extra step or whatever. But I think you know, the more he's out there and the more comfortable he is with things, um, you'll be able to see him get that back.